Hi, my name is Ken Steen and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the NRHR Journals Library. I want to introduce our new approach to publication uh, using threaded publication. Uh, the context for this is open access and the NRHR's uh, recently uh, uh, published policy, which is part of open research, really changes the academic publication landscape. Um, the NIHR Journals Library has been publishing outputs from uh, five programmes uh, in NIHR uh, and will be moving to the Global Health Research Programme uh, imminently. Since 1997, we've been requiring authors to produce a single monograph to account, as an account of their work. We started with the HTA programme and these monographs have ensured a public record of this publicly funded research project. And the whole story goes into a monograph and we're keen to see that that continues. We've been able to achieve nearly 100% publication of what we commission, which to be fair is a lot more than other national and international uh, research commissioners, where around 50% is perhaps more normal. However, monographs um, are uh, only a single publication and are often uh, begun, not begun until the end of the project. And that can cause some significant uh, challenges and uh, one might argue confusions for readers. The threaded publication approach promises to get around that in a really positive way. It's not a new approach. Uh, Doug Altman uh, introduced this for the journal trials some years ago, but I'm not aware of any other research funder that's committed to ensuring publication and has adopted a threaded publication approach to show how the different projects that uh, are carried out as part of a commission uh, can be linked together. The, the initial key to the threaded idea is that multidisciplinary projects have different elements or components within them, and these are um, published and can be published whenever they're complete. We're about four, between four and nine components from the programmes that we're publishing in the journal's library. And um, so there could be four to nine separate articles. Um, and these can be published as soon as they are available. And that is what a lot of researchers currently do uh, by seeking publication in other journals. So it brings some opportunities. First of all, overall, we're likely to get more timely outputs from research um, that we're carrying out. And that can generate impact more, more quickly uh, from the research. It's also an opportunity for different author teams uh, within a project. And that is fair and offers uh, a different opportunities, particularly for junior researchers as, as the programme develops. In a threaded publication, each article will be peer reviewed, as you'd expect, and will have an individual digital identifier. This is important as it will allow citation and other linkages like alt metrics to be uh, assessed and attributed to each part of the threaded publication. But with individual components of a project being published at different times, you might ask, how can we ensure that the original purpose, question and project shape are reported? Well, this is the role of what we're going to call the synopsis. This is a new commentary, final peer reviewed publication within the thread that will draw all the elements together and consider implications for practice and research. Currently, many NIHR researchers are published in other journals um, while they carry out their NIHR commissions. We support this uh, for a small number of, quote, high impact publications, and that will clearly continue. And the beauty of OA is that we can link from our NIHR threaded publication to the content of other open access journals without any problem at all. The threaded publication approach also um, has a third element that I wanted to tell you about, and that is the publication protocol. The idea of this is that it's, it's an extension of the dissemination plan, which uh, researchers uh, have to put in, in their bids for funding to make the planned outputs from the overall project explicit and support writing uh, and submission. Many do this already, um, but our work at supporting authors in, in doing so, so far has been highly valued. Um, these protocols are essentially a plan um, for a number of uh, published outputs and it will enable links to other dissemination efforts to be uh, initiated. Uh, for example, the uh, Centre for Engagement and Dissemination uh, with NIHR. The developments to date in, in this um, are, uh, I'm pleased to say, have been going very well. We've been piloting over the last year with a dozen or so projects and we've, we've demonstrated uh, that the proof of concept is, is absolutely valid. So we're now developing our approach 
to individual publications and introducing the necessary changes to our editorial uh, and uh, publishing team. It's all going extremely well. Our objectives are uh, to the following. To build on the successful monograph series, we want to maintain a very high proportion of publication. Failing to, to achieve publication is a really important source of research waste and NIHR is committed to ensuring value from research and addressing issues of research waste. So it's considered the quality of work uh, during commissioning and we're keen to ensure that with having commissioned research that's of high quality, we can more or less guarantee publication in almost all cases. We want to increase the speed to publication while ensuring the comprehensive story is, is maintained. And this we think we can do easily uh, to a high academic standard because of the, uh, the extent to which we've already established mechanisms of peer review and editorial uh, supervision. We want to reduce duplication of effort between the monographs and other journal publications. And I think the opportunity to um, publish with the um, threaded publication approach, uh, I hope will allow that uh, to be the case and that researchers will see that the NIHR in-house publication is suitably high quality uh, and uh, we will be able to build on the impact factors and so forth that we've already achieved for at least the HTA uh, series. We want to improve our support for authors to ensure high quality peer review and supportive editing. We want us, in a sense, to, to be a, a service to authors, building on uh, the work that we have commissioned from them. The pilot projects that we've been looking at over the last 12 months are now at peer review and editorial review stage, so they're really nearly there. The first article has recently moved into production. We've started discussions with the Global Health Research uh, Programme projects and the exciting thing about that is we'll be moving to threaded publication from the very outset there. There will be more news on this exciting development over the next few months, so please look out for uh, this and engage with us as we go. We're important, we are committed to making this approach a service for researchers as well as to research users and their health and care system. So I really hope that this will continue to be a positive and exciting development. Thank you.